Hello, this is Damien DeForge. Um, I'm giving a report on some changes we foresee making at BART Behavioral, which is a methadone clinic here in Berlin, Vermont, that I work at. Um, the focus of this report is changing the way we dispense methadone as far as time schedules, which are known as dosing windows. Overview. The current operation schedule and patient processing modalities have resulted in client dissatisfaction, staff burnout, and lost revenues. We propose designating scheduled dosing windows as well as upgrading systems and putting another dispensary nurse on during dosing hours to combat these issues. This is anticipated to boost efficiency and satisfaction for all involved. Um, the corrective actions for this would reduce wait times, reduce staff burnout, reduce turnover, limit liability, limit medication errors, and limit lost revenues. The project description involves implementing dosing times, adding check-in terminal, upgrading to Methsoft 2.1, adding a second computer, adding another uh, dosing nurse to the dosing schedule, utilizing existing staff to implement and educate about the changeover. The budget for this would be about $100,000, $50,000 of which would be vendor costs, $15,000 for hardware costs, $5,000 for various accessories like um, power strips, cords, um, $25,000 for project manager fees, which seems low, but that's because the project manager would only be doing this half time. $5,000 for staff training. Um, evaluation. Our evaluation phase will involve a patient satisfaction survey to assess the effects of the new changes from patient perspective. Research-based evidence. Client dissatisfaction by the numbers. 34% of clients have expressed dissatisfaction by the dosing hours currently. Um, the mean satisfaction rating is 5.5 out of 10. Some clients have said that it's too hard to get takeouts, and others have cited transportation issues. More research-based evidence. Staff burnout and turnover. 29% of European uh, medication-assisted therapy clinics have employees that are suffering burnout. London is the place that's most like uh, many of the clinics here in America. They have over 44% of people that are met, that have been shown to have burnout. There are over 20,000 medication errors reported yearly, 7,000 of these resulting in death. Lost revenues, 77 billion per year in drug morbidity costs, 11,000 through 88,000 per nurse and turnover costs, 856 million in annual RN turnover for institutions, and that represents 1.2 to 2.1 billion um, costs added to society by RN turnover. Equipment. We will need the new upgraded Methsoft 2.1 software, um, check-in terminals which will allow clients to check in and be in line while they wait comf comfortably in the clinic. There will be a second dispensary nurse on hand so that things can flow more efficiently. We can also draw labs. Um, there will be a project director overseeing implementation of all this and a super user which is a person that's more highly trained in the use of the software and they'll be the one that gets everybody else up to speed and evaluates their proficiency. The project director's responsibilities would be train with the super user, attend staff orientations, serve resource needs to the nurses, track check-in terminal data, coordinate second line software updates, and follow up on software upgrades. Um, the super user would attend a two-day training conference. They would become Methasoft 2.1 proficient. They will train staff, evaluate staff proficiency, and they must be a current uh, long-term BART nurse or doctor. The vendor will have responsibilities including provide software and hardware, do installations, they will train the original super user, 
and we will look to them for ongoing tech support. Evaluation goals. Um, <clears throat> client wait times will be under 10 minutes. We will not receive any fines or Medicaid payment refusals. Patient satisfaction will near 100%. Decreased medication errors compared to previous years and reports of set, uh, patient and staff satisfaction. In conclusion, implementing dosing window times in a methadone clinic is a big task. It will require the support and collaboration of the entire staff. We are eager to work with you in developing a dosing system that fits the needs of your clients and staff alike. It is our goal to help you smoothly through this transition. Thanks so much for your time.